Hey guys, Day Zero here. We're gonna run through this mission real quick. Let's get started. I mean, it should by it should go pretty quick. So what you're gonna wanna do is you should just farm for gear and stuff. Like you can you can get up to like maybe join friends and stuff. Get up to like 460 gear. Get your friends that are like level 460 to do, do stuff. I mean, run through their missions, get their drops. And this is literally how quick you can get this mission done. You guys will see. This is World Tier 1. I'm leveling up my friend Ferg. We're trying to get through his, um... We're in World Tier 1 right now, doing this. And it's just insane how fast you can get this mission done. So you'll just pull out your grenade launcher, wait for him to actually like start moving on the ground because as you can see, it wasn't really doing that much damage to them and stuff, so yeah, I'll keep pushing through this mission real quick. Yeah, this is super easy. And if you have the chatter box, you won't have Never have to reload either. To be able to just run through this. I'll be putting up a guide on that here soon. Put up a couple other exotics on my channel, like put up uh, weapon skin locations, stuff like that. Hotel locations, um, gear locations, just basically everything that's in the game I've put up on my channel. It's been growing a little bit too. My channel has. I mean, I've seen like an influx of about 60 subscribers since I've in the division I mean it's not that much but to me it is because it's like half of my channel almost Red Dead Redemption 2 and half of it's from Division 2 that's actually really cool and if you like Red Dead Redemption 2 you might check out my channel as well because I post some pretty crazy stuff on that on there for well, like kind of cool mission online updates if there are any and you can still get down like I'm pretty sure I get down here yeah so watch out for that I mean you're not 100% immune As you can see, you can still die. That was just stupid. But it is the best way to still run through it is by getting as high of gear as possible. Pretty sure Ferg had to go, so he's just camping at the beginning of the mission. It's just me and Travis. See. But ideally, you want to do this with just two players because it's a lot faster to run through it. Keep clearing out Black Tusk as you find them. So ooh, I think he's gonna revive me. Yep, there we go. So now we're just gonna. <laughs> I was just gonna like stop it last second. I was about to cry. Okay, so here we go, guys. If you run it solo, I'd stay back a little bit more than we are. I mean, you can still probably run it as fast, just with a sniper or something. LMG. I wouldn't be running in with an AR and stuff. And you do want to pick up this loot, even though it's way less than what you would normally get. At your higher gear scores, tiers, like tier, tier 3, tier 4, world tier. Um, 
But you want to deconstruct all that stuff, so it's worth using. Yeah, they we're pretty tanky, but we're, yeah, we're not invincible. Both of us have gotten down already. Check to see if there's anything useful on there. Alright, so there we go. Yeah, <laughs> so the uh, grenade launcher just shreds. Download complete. According to this report, Black Tusk was covertly supplying the hyenas with tech and weapons for months, just to keep the city at a constant boil. Okay, so. That's one good thing, is you still get XP from all this, so if your friends are higher tier than you and stuff, they'll still want to do it for the proficiency cash, because you can deconstruct that gear or roll stuff off of it still. It's not completely useless to him, which is pretty good. I mean, worst case scenario, he can always just sell it. And he'll get the crafting materials and stuff, so it's actually pretty good to do this. And he'll get the, uh, I think there's plus five demolitionist points for completing missions. I think he gets that on strongholds as well. Might be wrong. I mean, demolitionist since I'm running demolitionist. If it's a sharpshooter, you'd get sharpshooter. Okay, so we'll open this door. Run through here. Should be approaching. We should be about halfway through right now. Because all that's left is the boss fight, so really. Yeah, make sure you're picking up all this stuff just to deconstruct it and get printer filament and stuff. Yeah, so here's the first boss fight. There should be a total of about three. A satellite uplink detected. If you've played this mission at this point, like on, you know, before World Tier, to get up to level 30 and stuff, then yes, you... It's basically the same as that on this, so want to stay in the back and snipe if you don't have as good 
gear as us. Make sure you guys have lots of healing stuff. Have your reviving, um, self reviving kit. We'll throw that real quick. And we'll also run upstairs. I think we might have already killed the boss. No. I think this is encryption. Defend up link. See, if they're using their grenade launchers, you guys could literally just kill them as they come out. We beat them way too fast, now this thing's just kind of like, uh... <laughs> Terminating satellite uplink. Yeah, so here's the first boss fight. I think they already killed the boss. Oh, no, there he is. No. Remember, you're not invincible. Just one bad thing about running this is you'll get to that final boss fight, you'll all just rush in and then you'll wipe. And I know this is kind of like over explaining this, but you'd be surprised how many people don't know what m wipe means. That means when your entire group dies and you have to restart at a checkpoint. Do some people haven't actually played Rage or games like this too much, you never know. Go. Time to go say hello. Here's the second boss fight coming up. Put an LMG for this part. So if you're playing this normally without you know having as much stuff as I am and you made it this far in the video, I would not camp right here and snipe because the or run up because it'll seem easy because that's how the AI works. But then there's a wave, you'll, you'll see it spawn, I don't think it's this one. The wave you spawn, it's just completely five times smarter than the dummy AI they send out before that. And it'll just wipe you out. Yeah, it's this one right here, this wave. They send drones, and if those don't kill you, they're not gonna even touch me. But if those don't kill you, the enemies will, because the enemy AI is a lot smarter. And you do not kill them as fast as we just did.
Okay, so that was the second boss fight. Now we're gonna run over to the third and last one. Which means heading through the old Hyena drug lab. This is the most annoying part of the mission. Is like, especially if you're doing it normally, like when, like low gear score and stuff, gear score 200 or something. Oh no, I guess not. But yeah, this part is still annoying just because with them are all grouped up and stuff on this part. And it's like close quarters. Up ahead. Take her out. Yeah, so this mission isn't too difficult once you've actually got gear and stuff. But okay, so for this part of the mission, if you're just playing it normally, I'd stick to about right here for this part of the mission. But later on, you're gonna want to flank to the left or right side when the near when the boss spawns. Uh, if you have what we have, just run through it. Shouldn't be a problem. Because it'll be guys like this that kind of mess you up because they kind of just can't back here and wait until you come kill them so that'll like lead one of your group members away and it just kind of messes you up Still seem to like have problems in this room. I don't know why, but there's just a couple problems it has. And then once you beat this mission, it'll say promoting to. Uh, it'll give everyone who played it five specialization points for whatever specialization they're playing. It'll give you some E credits. It'll give you the boss shop. It'll give you a couple other things as well. Now it'll say advancing world tier two. And then you want to go upgrade your crafting bench. You should get a crafting bench upgrade for doing that. Alright guys, thanks for watching.